How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we are taking a look at my top 5 balers. Now we just did a video taking a look at my top 5 mowers and as you can see that guy's mowing and bailing at the same time. That is an absolutely phenomenal baler right there and when you do that trick right there it's super fast too. Now what do we got here? This is a simple little mini baler is kind of like what we call it and it's going to stack them up and then it's going to dump them off the back it's really really cool but neither one of these are part of my top five so which one's coming in at number five let's go take a look coming in at number five is a really really unique one this here is the lizard multi baler combi and it's by caster and ds agra service it's a um it's a chaff baler yeah you're gonna have silage at the end of it it's really really awesome so you can have a regular corn header or you can have a crop one like this one here this one's gonna pick up your uh, grass for you now the one thing about it is you're gonna have to manually unload your bales now this is the where the magic happens like I said it's the lizard multi baler combi so it's gonna make you a bale here and then it's gonna push it back here and you get to wrap it and you get four different color choices you've got green pink white or black and then this area right here is where it all collects at now you've got to put this on manually by yourself using a like telehandler something with forks underneath of it um, but it's pretty easy just put the forks back here on this section and then it'll go on no problem and you're gonna need one of these also it's part of the pack, and you can get it to match any color you want. I made it pink so we could see it. It stands out really, really well. You've got your hitch. You've got your PTO, your cables. It all looks really, really nice. I'm using the big crone right now is what I'm using, but you can use any of them at all. It works with everything. And the reason I like this so much is because now you can take your corn chef. If you've got a cornfield, and you can turn it straight into silage bales. You don't need to... Take it over to a bunker silo and figure out how you're going to have it ferment and then, you know, collect it out of there and then deliver it and everything. It's just bales. Then you come along with your wagon, whatever you're using, pick them up and boom, you're good. So, like I said, number five, absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal mod. Let's go take a look at number four. All right, so coming in at number four is a really, really fun one. And here in a second, you're going to get to see exactly why I think that yeah did you see that you get to launch bales it is absolutely hilarious to see these things go flying sometimes they don't make it in and you got to go back and catch them but man this is a really really fun fun mod and this is the massey ferguson heston 1840 very very fun i mean and these bales the really cool thing about these if i get out and i run back here and i jump up into this thing I can pick these up by hand, right? And I can throw them right back at it. And you can stack these, you can launch them across, whatever you need to do. That's why I really, really enjoy this. Now, the unfortunate side about this one is we all know that on console we have a 200 bale limit. But, but, don't let that uh, discourage you from trying this mod out. It is absolutely, oh, look, look at that one. That one, oh man. Now, this trailer does not come with the mod. This is part of a Crone uh, trailer pack that I picked up. Um, but as long as you've got a trailer that will contain them, I don't think it'll be an issue. So, lots of fun with this right here. I mean, <laughs> I can't get over it. I, I can't get enough of launching these bales. I mean, it is absolutely... It's just too much fun. It really, really is. <laughs> All right, we're in the end of the row here. Let's go take a look at number three. All right, everybody, coming in at number three is a really, really interesting mod. Now, this is a John Deere, so that's why we've got a John Deere pulling it. But take a look at this thing. It looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the John Deere 466. And if you look down there in the bottom right-hand corner, we're past 4,000 liters. All right, we're coming up on 5,000 liters now. And we're not stomping yet. And if you look... We just passed 6,000 liters. That's right. This baler right here by LR Modding and JA Modding does 7,500 liter bales. Now, you have to manually unload them just like this, but 7,500 liters. 
if you've got a big farm and you've got a ton of bales that you need to make, this might be the one for you. I mean, base game is 4,000, right? We have um, balers that will do 6,000. But this one, this one is almost double base game. So instead of getting 200 bales, just imagine it's like having 350 on your farm. That's absolutely phenomenal, right? And I really like how it's a low horsepower requirement. It's really, really low. Gives you a little bit of a warning here if you can hear the, uh, the buzzer going off that it's about ready to be uh, unloaded. I mean, the round, they, they're not any bigger either. So these will, these take up the same amount of space as a normal round bale. And that's a really, really good thing because you don't need a special trailer for this. So any of your other trailers that hold the round bales base game size, this one is going to work for you. And speaking of balers that create bales that are the same size but give you extra volume in them, let's go take a look at this bad boy right over here. All right, so what is number two? Well, it's an ADGO high density baler. And what I mean by that is it's going to give you 6,000 liter bales, but they're only going to be the size of 4,000 liters, like dimensionally, right? So they're the same size as base game, but you get an extra 2,000 liters in it. And this baler also goes 17 miles an hour. No more super slow baling. It is absolutely phenomenal. I wish the turning radius was a little bit better, but... I mean, you can't complain when you're going 17 miles an hour. I mean, look how fast it's cranking these things out. And these are 6,000 liters, too. I mean, this is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I love this baler. Now, it is very, very expensive. But you can also get it as a Fent. You can get it as a Massey Ferguson. Or you can get it as a Challenger. And I'm missing so much here. I, I should be paying a little bit more attention. But absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal baler here. That's why it's number two. I love this thing. When I, once I get my farms up and ready and I've got enough money, this is the one I go with. You all may be asking, what is number one? Let's go take a look at it. It's very, very unique. Here it is. This is the Quadro Pro Baler Pack. Now, this is by Black Sheet Modding, and they absolutely nailed it with this thing. The interesting thing is this is actually the Quadro Pro Baler. It doesn't really have anything to do with this, the name anyway, but this is the awesome part. This right here is just an extra bonus. This thing right here will actually stack up four bales for you and drop them off. Now, you have to do that part manually, but this, what do you think these are? They're windrows. Yeah, windrows. Let's jump up in here. I'm going to show you guys. So, we're going to be doing it from behind right here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unfold. All right, it's going to lower down the back deck. Now, the next thing I need to do is lower down that right there. And that's the pickup. And you can see that the arms started to move. Now, I'm going to hold L1. I'm on PlayStation right now. And I'm going to move down on my right analog stick. And watch what these things do. Fold out just like beautiful butterfly wings. There we go. All the way. And then they're going to kick forward just a little bit. Now, I need to toggle back to the back one. And I need to unfold it also. And then I'm going to put it in operating position. There we go. And that's going to fold down. So everything now is good to go. What I have to do now is come back here. And once I turn on my vehicle, I'm going to turn this on. Now the baler's going. And the windrow arms are working too. All right. Now, an interesting thing is these rows right here were made using some very, very big 13.7 meter headers. Can we pick them both up at the same time? That's the question. I think we could probably we could probably do it. So we're going to be right here in the middle. Let's go ahead and just start driving forward. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have the rear selected. That way, whenever it's time to unload, I can unload on the fly and I don't have to stop. You can actually do this while still moving. So here we go. Let's see if we can pick up both of these well. So there we go. And look at that. Just a little bit just a little bit outside but the awesome thing is if you're running something other than a 14 point or 13.7 you're going to be able to do it no problem no problem 
So we'll come over here. Let's go ahead and grab this whole one so you guys can see how this rear part works here. Really cool. Now, and it could be that the worker kind of messed up a little bit. So let's come right here and let's see if we can do this again. So on this one, we're getting a little bit more. We're still off just a little bit. Just a little bit. So you're still going to have to make a pass every single time. That one's not too bad, though. All right, so now it's done, right? So we just unload, drop them there, and the back is still going to be open, so we have to make sure we close that. All right, there we go. Perfect. It's going to keep going. And the really thing, the awesome thing about this is you don't have to be super precise, right? You can use the wind rowers to pick up everything for you. So if you got a little bit of you know, you, you weren't exactly, you know, super clean with it while you were putting everything down. You got a bunch of zigzag. Just come straight along with this. I mean, even if your rows aren't close enough together to do, it's going to work great. But if you're running like a 12-meter a header or 10, and even 6s, right, this is going to be awesome for you. Absolutely awesome. It says in the description, though, that this is a 14-meter header or 14-meter wind row. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Maybe it's just, you know, almost exactly too much. I think a perfect update would be if we could get this thing out to like 16 meters, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, but it is still an absolute phenomenal, phenomenal baler. Even if it doesn't um, do that every single time perfectly with these super wide headers like that, it's still great. It's still so much fun. I mean, this thing just came out and it is definitely my top number one baler in the world right now. For console. For console, everybody. I'm a console player. This is on console. It's it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I love this thing. I can't get the smile off of my face while I'm using this. I've seen some videos of some guys using some very similar stuff with collecting wagons. Not balers, but oh my goodness. It's, I, I just can't say enough nice things about it. Like I said, I wish we could get maybe just a little bit wider to help out with those 13.7 meter headers. But, but, it's still phenomenal. Great mod here. Absolutely great mod. So we're going to finish this up here really, really quick. We're going to get four bales out of it. Not quite. But that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. And if you want to stay up to date on all my top videos covering Farming Simulator 19, and we're going to be covering FS22 whenever it releases here November 22nd, definitely, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.